stop jumping through hoops and over hurdles to get reliable high-speed internet on the go. There are easier options available. Hi, my name is Jordan from unlimitedleasing.com. Whether you are a seasoned nomad or maybe you just picked up one of these rigs like you see behind me here, you may have a lot of questions while you're out on the road about how to keep connected. One of the questions we see asked most frequently in RV groups is, how do we work, stream movies, or just simply stay connected while on the road when we don't have traditional options for dedicated high-speed internet? Here at Unlimited Leasing, we have now simplified this for you. It's an easy to use, turnkey solution that will eliminate this headache and frustration. Our mobile high-speed internet can be used anywhere throughout the country, no matter where you decide to set up camp. And the bonus? It's unlimited data. Most RVers out there are just fed up with and tired of overcrowded campground Wi-Fi or setting up in places that offer no high-speed internet, making it nearly impossible to conduct Zoom calls for work or even to be able to do simple tasks such as stream a movie or live TV. We want you to follow along with us while we show you firsthand how this headache has been eliminated thanks to the service offered by us here at Unlimited Leasing that can go with you on the open road to anywhere you travel. Let's head on inside and we will show you how some of the most simplest tasks in an RV will require you having access to high-speed internet while on the go. Come on, let's head inside. Just like we have smartphones, smart cars, and smart TVs, manufacturers are starting to make RVs and campers more smart or technologically advanced. The particular model RV or camper you select when making a purchase will determine just how connected your rig is. Some setups may come with something just as simple as a smart TV, and that's it. While other units, take for example the brand Airstream, will come with technology and smartphone apps that allow you to keep track right on your smartphone the levels of your LP tanks, freshwater tank, gray water tank, and black water tank. It also allows you to adjust more simple things like your lighting, check on and adjust your thermostat, and even check your 12 volt battery levels. All done without being anywhere in the vicinity of where your camp is set up. Regardless of where your RV falls in the category of connected, there is one common thing that all these rigs will require a high-speed internet connection. But how do we accomplish such a task when an RV is parked in a location like you see where this one is? A place where you're surrounded by nothing but cornfields, trees, and mountainous terrain for as far as you can see, in the middle of nowhere. Here, there are no options for cable internet, DSL, or even dial-up. Some smartphones may have the option to turn on a hotspot feature on your cell phone where you can essentially share your internet connection directly from your phone. And while this may be a temporary solution, it's not feasible for a long term as your phone's data plan will only allow you to share a very limited amount of high speed data, eventually cutting you off or slowing your data speeds to a crawl. And this is where unlimited leasing's mobile internet offered with unlimited data becomes an essential part of any RVers must have items while traveling the open road. No data caps, no restrictions, use as much data as you want. We have customers in all 50 states that use our service to keep connected. This is all possible thanks to our unlimited data plans running on the backbone of the nation's fastest, most advanced LTE network, covering over 327 million people. That's more than 2.68 million square miles and over 99% of the U.S. population, ensuring that you stay connected wherever your adventure takes you. The hotspot devices we use, while small and compact in size, offer a big punch when it comes to data speeds and being able to connect to the network. The first thing we want to go ahead and do is jump on over to our laptop and run some speed tests so that you can see firsthand the type of data speeds you can expect to see from our service and what kind of bandwidth or data speeds are required to run certain tasks online. All right, we have our laptop opened up and we have a web browser open here where you would type in for web addresses. We are gonna do a search here. We're gonna type in speedtest.net and we're gonna do a Google search. 
And what it does is it brings up here speed test. It's one of the most popular speed test apps you can run. We just click on it. It's going to take us right to the speedtest.net website. One of the things we want to ignore is ignore all this advertising on the left and down on the bottom, here on the right, and up here at the top, which we want to focus on is right here in the middle, right where it says go. It's really easy. We're just going to click on the go button, and the speed test is going to automatically start to run itself. So first thing we see here is we're getting really good speeds. First speed test here, we're getting close to 130 between 125 and 130 for our download speed. And you can see here, we're on the Verizon network and now we're running our upload speeds. And the upload speeds here are phenomenal for most online tasks. If you're doing Zoom calls for work or if you are doing any type of video conferencing, you're gonna to need to have good upload speeds so you can transmit your video or the picture of you to your other people that you're talking to, whether it's from work or a client or whoever it be. So let's run the speed test one more time just to kind of see what we're getting here. Again, getting speeds well over 130, this time getting up into the 140s. Now, one number we wanna pay attention to is this right here, the ping. So your ping, also referred to as your latency, is also referred to as your reaction time. So we can see what our data speeds are, but your ping is important for those of you who game online. And yes, this service works good for online gaming. You wanna see low ping numbers. Even if you had really good numbers like this on your download, if you had a high ping, something over, let's say over 100, you might experience lag or delay when you're playing games online. Again, these upload speeds are really good. Those are phenomenal upload speeds and really good download speeds. We're gonna actually jump in. I'm gonna show you here in a minute exactly what speeds you need to be able to do certain tasks online. So one more time here, we're gonna go to Google and we're just gonna type in speed test, but we're not going to type in .net. We'll just do speed test. And this is Google speed test. So we're going to run this one. This one's going to, when you see this like here, we're going to run this speed test directly through, through Google. And we're going to see on this one, obviously you would expect to see relatively the same speeds. Again, we are getting close to 130 down. And we're getting, it seems to be about the same on the upload. Now, remember folks, this is speeds over 4G LTE network. Yes, 5G is available out there. We do not offer it as of right now with our service. We don't see the ne it necessary. When customers reach out to us and they're looking for a way to connect and get online for high speed internet, we feel that the speeds that is currently being delivered over the 4G LTE network is more than sufficient. We have a lot of customers who inquire about the 5G and while 5G is available in certain locations, it's not available everywhere yet. And the carriers are still pumping more bandwidth and improvements on their cell towers for the 4G LTE. And until the day comes where we see a degrade in the 4G LTE network, we're going to keep on utilizing it. 4G LTE signal travels farther than 5G, and that's important to remember. And again, on this second speed test, we got 146 down and 16 on the upload. So one of the questions people say is, these are great numbers, Jordan, but I don't understand. What, what are we supposed to be taking away from this? What do we need, though, just to be able to do something like Stream a Netflix movie. And that's a great question. What speeds are needed for Netflix? And when we scroll down here to the Netflix website, we have internet connection speed recommendations. So when we talk about those numbers we just saw, and we relate it to how it has to do with being able to stream a movie, 
or even live TV, high definition, which is 720p, only requires three megabits per second or higher. Now, let's think back to that speed test. These are referring to your download speeds. We were getting over 100 megabits per second down, and you only need, on average, three to be able to stream a 1020p movie. Now, most of us, if you're like me, you want to stream your movie in 1080p. Full HD, full high definition, that requires at least five megabits per second or higher. You're going to need to have at least these speeds to avoid any type of buffering or lag when you're streaming a movie. Now, if you have a 4K television, ultra high definition, you want to watch something crystal clear, you're going to need at least 15 megabits per second or higher when you are uh, looking at your speed test. Now, this is per device. So if you had three TVs in the house and everyone's streaming at 1080p, you're going to need at least times three, which would be 15 megabits per second or higher. Down here on 4K, if we had three 4K televisions in the house, we would need to have at least 45 megabits per second or higher for each person on their TV to be able to stream 4K content without there being any type of buffering. So this kind of shows you guys what we're looking for when it comes to speeds. Again, these are just your downloads. When you're streaming from Netflix, it really doesn't matter what your uploads or speeds are. It really just depends on, uh, we're really just focused here on the download speeds. So if we go ahead and type in here at the top, we'll go back to Google. And we want to see what type of speeds, though, we're going to need on the upload. So what speeds are needed for, uh, let's say, a Zoom call. And when we scroll down here to Zoom, they have a Zoom support. And they'll talk about your system requirements for uh, your devices. But down here towards the bottom, we have a section for... Um, bandwidth requirements. So bandwidth also referring to your data speeds here. So you can see here when they talk about one-on-one, -on -one, so if it's just you and one other person, they require for 1080p HD video, 3.8, let's just go ahead and say four megabits per second on the download and only three on the upload. So you can see when we have upload speeds around 30 to 50 range, we have more than enough bandwidth that we can do an upload with no issues. And even for group calls, so if there's just, if there's more than one of you, um, you're doing a group call for work, um, you can see here also the speeds seem to be the same. About four on the download and three on the upload. And again, these are recommendations. So sure, it's gonna be helpful if you have uh, 10 on the download and 5 on the upload, you're going to have a much better experience. But that is what's required for your upload speeds. Now, we want to go ahead and show you here the device that we've been using and kind of show you real quick hands-on what it looks like. This particular device will fit in the palm of your hand, but don't let the size of it fool you. It will allow up to 15 Wi-Fi enabled devices to be connected at once. So maybe your RV is set up and it has multiple smart TVs or maybe you have smartphones that you wanna connect, or tablets, maybe you have laptops, your thermostat, or maybe you even have a Wi-Fi enabled camera, which we will show you here in a bit how to use to keep track of your pets, such as a cat or a dog while you're away. Now, when we mentioned earlier in the video this being a turnkey solution, that means it's already gonna to come to you activated with service. There's nothing here for you to set up, all you have to do when the device arrives is on the top of the device, you will see the power button. Simply hold that down, the device will power on. On the screen, you'll see the Wi-Fi name and password, which you can change and adjust, customize it to whatever you want, and then start connecting your devices. Now, this particular device, it doesn't have any clunky antennas. There's nothing that needs to go up on the roof or be set up. It's very easy. It can stay here on the counter while you're at your RV to provide your internet. And if you decide that you want to go on a road trip and you'd like to take your internet with you, it's as simple as unplugging it, putting it in your pocket, your purse, and taking it with you on the go.
Now, as you watch this video, we want to make sure you understand that your data speeds can vary by location depending on where you are in the country. The data speeds you see us getting in this particular video may be different than what you get at your specific location. You may see data speeds faster than what we are getting here, or you may see slower data speeds. Not to worry though, now that you have a better understanding as to just how much bandwidth certain online tasks will require, you can run a speed test once you have one of our devices in hand to ensure that you have enough for the daily tasks and devices you'll be using in your specific RV. The most important thing to remember is that we're using a wireless cellular signal. It's all around us, and there are certain things such as metal buildings, for example, that can block wireless cellular signal. When you get one of our hotspot devices, you will see in the top left hand corner where it shows your bars of cellular signal. Here, we fluctuate between two to three bars. Remember though, that this only tells us the signal strength, essentially giving us an idea of how close you are to your local cell tower. It is not a representation of what your data speeds will be. The data speeds will vary depending on how much bandwidth is being supplied to the specific tower in your vicinity, LTE band frequencies, along with many other factors. Now, let's go ahead and close up our laptop and show you guys firsthand how the unlimited data service is being used in this particular RV. Here, they're outfitted with two smart TVs, one in the main living area and one in the master bedroom. Remember, a smart TV is essentially useless without a high-speed internet connection. You wouldn't be able to stream Netflix, Hulu, or Amazon Prime videos. You wouldn't be able to stream your favorite music through the Pandora or Spotify app. And forget trying to stream live TV if you're wanting to catch your favorite Major League Baseball team, catch some Monday Night Football, or even see your college rivals play over the weekend. It just wouldn't be possible unless you have a wireless, high-speed internet connection, like the service offered here at Unlimited Leasing with Unlimited Data. With both of these smart TVs turned on and streaming content, we want to show you just how much of a breeze it is to be able to navigate on both of these TVs with no lag or delay whatsoever. Even with the live TV, changing the channels and jumping from one program to another is a seamless experience. Being out on the open road or getting away from the headaches of day-to-day -day city life doesn't mean you need to fully disconnect from being able to follow your favorite sports teams or binge watch your favorite Netflix series on a rainy day. Now that you've seen firsthand how the unlimited data service offered by us here at Unlimited Leasing has powered both of the smart TVs in this RV with no issues, the final thing we wanna show you that is utilized here at this specific location is a Wi-Fi enabled camera, like we mentioned to you earlier in this video. If you're not familiar with Wi-Fi enabled cameras, they're extremely easy to set up and use to monitor not only just your RV, but your pets while you're away as well. For most of us, pets are like family. And while to some this may seem silly, it may be important for others to keep track of their pets if they were leaving for extended periods of time throughout the day, such as going on excursions or just venturing out to explore at the particular location you've decided to set up camp. With the camera plugged into power, connected to the internet here at the RV, and the app downloaded on your smartphone, you can check in on your pets with the simple push of a button. Here, they're utilizing a Wi-Fi enabled camera made by a company called Arlo. And you can see how they are able to pull up the app on their smartphone, click on the camera that they want to view, and instantly get live feed from inside the RV sent directly to their smartphone in real time, no matter how far they ventured out from camp, giving them the peace of mind that their pet is resting safe and sound until they return. Most of these cameras also allow for two-way audio, allowing you to communicate with your pets as well. With some of the examples we've shown in this video, we hope you can now see that whether you plan to work from the road, homeschool the kids while enjoying RV life, weekend movie entertainment, or just simply want to send photos and videos of your adventures to loved ones back home, 
all of these things will require a high-speed internet connection that you can take with you on the go. We hope you have found this video helpful. And if you did, please be sure to like and subscribe to our channel to get notifications as we release future videos showing more examples of how our service can be used in many different ways. Let us know in the comments section down below some of the places you've taken your RV to where you've struggled to find options for high-speed internet. If you'd like to place an order for one of our unlimited data hotspot devices, you can do so directly through our website at unlimitedleasing.com. We offer a 14-day return policy with a full refund. If you get the device and it doesn't meet your expectations or what you need, you can simply return it for a full refund. Once you are on our website, you simply click on the service plans tab. The video we've shown you today was for our red plan running on the Verizon network. Click on the choose plan option and add it to your cart. And then click the yellow check out with PayPal button and follow through the checkout process. Have questions? Feel free to give me a call directly here in the office. 865-325-2600. Don't feel like talking? send me a text message to the same number as well. Or shoot me over an email, support at unlimitedleasing.com, and I'll be sure to get back to you. Thanks again for watching, and be safe out there, wherever your adventure takes you.